All right, you guys, this is the second part of the review for the test. This is the application problem, so let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Leticia sets uh, the thermostat in her apartment to 68 degrees. The actual temperature in her apartment can vary from this by as much as 3.5 degrees. Okay, so a couple of questions here. We're going to write an absolute value equation um, uh, that you can use to find the minimum and the maximum temperature, and then we'll solve the equation to find those minimum and maximum temperatures. Okay, so the difference between um, uh, her thermostat and the 68 degrees that she has it set at is 3.5 degrees. Okay, so this is where we're going to set it um, equal to positive 3.5 and negative 3.5. Now we just add 68. So her temperature can range from 64.5 degrees to 71.5 degrees. Okay. I should have wrote that down right there, but anyway, so uh, I will in my class. So the temperatures can raise from 30 or 64.5 degrees to 71.5 degrees. Okay. All right, Sam is sitting in a boat on a lake. Do you remember this problem? This came out of one of your homework assignments. So she can get sunburn from the sunlight that hits her directly from the sunlight that reflects off the water. So sunlight reflects off the water at a point at 2-0, so we'll plot a point right there, and hit Sam at a point at 3.5 comma 3. So 3.5 comma 3, we'll plot a point right there. So we're going to write and graph a function that shows this path. Okay, so imagine this sun shining down here, and it reflects reflects off that point right there and it reflects back up here uh, uh, to that point right there. So it's going to be an absolute value graph. So the vertex of this is at that 2, 0 and it goes through this uh, 3.5 comma 3. Okay, so remember that 2, 0 is our HK. So it's of the form of here's HK. Here's the 2, 0 right there. Okay. So our equation is going to be y equals a times x minus, and we'll just do x minus 2, uh, the absolute value of that. We don't need to have this plus 0 there. And this a is how much it went up and over. Okay, so from this vertex, it goes up 3 over, looks like 1 and a half right there. Okay, so up 3 over 1 and a half is, uh, reduces to 2. So that 2 is going to go right there. We'll finish the graph off over here. We'll go up three over one and a half right there and plot another point and so that's going to be our absolute value graph and there's our equation right there okay all right uh, rainstorm begins a, as a drizzle builds up to a heavy rain and then drops back to a drizzle okay the rate r in inches so it looks like here's r right here so this is going to be our y axis so remember our equation is y equals a times the absolute value of x minus h and then plus the k right here okay so this y is r okay so it's given by this function r equals and then this is negative one half basically so down one over two and then uh, times t minus one well t is our x so this is our x minus h right there and then plus this k right there Okay, so we're going to go ahead and graph this vertex right here at uh, 1 comma 1 half right here where T is in hours and R is in uh, inches per, per hour right there. So graph the function and then we'll determine how long it rains and when it rains the hardest. Okay, so let's first graph, uh, think of this as Y equals negative 1 half X minus 1 uh, plus 0.5. Okay, the absolute value of that. So the vertex is at 1 comma 1 half. So over one up a half this is a half right here so there's the vertex right there okay and then we'll go uh, down one over two from this vertex okay so down one is going to be there over two is going to be what way over here I guess okay so down one over two Okay, so, um, or we can go down a half over one that's the same as down one over two right there okay so uh, now we can, since there can't be any negative rainfall, so this is rainfall and this is the positive rainfall, this is the negative rainfall below, there can't be any negative rainfall, so we don't need to worry about this part of the graph right here, so I, I dotted that out right there, okay? And so here's our rainfall right here. The rainfall is from, this is our time, so it's uh, two hours of rainfall right here, and when does it rain the hardest? When it's up here. This is the rainfall in um, uh, in inches right there so let's answer those questions right there so it rains for a total of two hours and the vertex right here at one comma one half so it rains the very hardest right there it rains a half an inch after one hour right there okay so um, this is our 
half inch how many uh, how much rain it did and, and this is our time so this is our time right here so one hour so it rained the hardest after one hour all right so uh, the organizers of a drama club wants to sell 350 tickets to their show the actual sales were no more than 35 tickets from this goal Okay, so that means it could be over or it could be less. So it says write and solve an absolute value inequality. So we're going to write an absolute value inequality, not just solve. We're going to write and solve the absolute value inequality to find the range of numbers of tickets that could have been sold. Okay, so there's our absolute value inequality. So the number of tickets, subtract 350, we know is no more than, so less than or equal to that 35 right there, okay? So we do, uh, this is an and statement, so we do negative 35, less than or equal to that, less than or equal to positive 35, and then, I'm sorry, uh, 350. Then add 350 to both sides, and then let's answer the question. So the range of number of tickets that could have been sold for the show we're somewhere between 315 to 385, and inclusively means it could be 315 and it could be 385. We're including those numbers right there. Okay, you guys, if you're in our class, you will be getting that. Take care.